Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is a channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about passive income through dividend stocks, and we talk about personal finance. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Well, today we'll talk about the stock market. Uh, we did have a great week on last week, uh, but today... Uh, we restart the week, and everything was moving along as expected. So we'll take a look at the Robinhood portfolio, and we'll look at the TD Ameritrade portfolio, and then we'll take a, take a look at the major indexes on CNBC. Okay, here we are in the Robinhood portfolio. And as I mentioned, we did have a pretty decent day. Um, we were up 1.52% for a gain of $30 on this portfolio. As you can see, the day was, it was started off slow. Uh, but as the day went on, we had a pretty good week. I mean, pretty good day. Uh, so it was up and to the right. So it was a good day in the market. There were several stocks that did uh, jump. One of them was Google or Alphabet. Okay, so we had uh, Alphabet shares uh, up today 1.87% in the regular trading session and up another 0.10% after hours. So Google shares were up. Again, this is the AI trend. The stock uh, Alphabet Google has been up over the last week 17%. Basically, ever since the uh, I.O. conference Google held about a week ago, the shares of Alphabet are up over 17%. Okay, so again, gaining position looks like in this particular portfolio, I'm up a little over 5%. Okay, so that is my position in Google. And again, with the AI race just starting between NVIDIA, Microsoft, and CA3, um, this stock could keep moving. All right, so let's take a look at some other stocks in the Robinhood that performed very well today. I think, okay, ticker symbol CHPT, charge point, charge point shares were up today. We take a look at the shares for the day. They were up 4.67%. Now, this is a small cap stock. Uh, so we've had a lot of issues with small cap stocks going up and down. Pretty much uh, charge points have been in the range of $8 and $12 for the last year. If we take a look at the chart for the year, okay, we had some peaks uh, last year around $18. And if we look at the last three months, Okay, stock was up as much as $11. So one thing I want to say about the small cap stocks, they're having issues breaking out, okay? So today was a good day for the Russell 2000 stocks. That would be ChargePoint and SoFi. SoFi was up as well, but ChargePoint for the day at least was up 4.67%. Okay, so those were some uh, top stocks in the rabbit hood. Now let's take a quick look at the TD Ameritrade account. Okay, so TD Ameritrade account, we were up 2.32%. And again, uh, just a couple of top stocks. Uh, one of the top stocks today was Tesla. Tesla shares were up 4.69%. Okay, as I mentioned just a moment ago, some of the small cap stocks stepped up today. We had SoFi Technologies, uh, FinTech Bank was up 6.66% for a gain of $75. We also had Upstart. Uh, Upstart Holdings was up 19%. Uh, we had the cloud software. Uh, this is authentication authorization software. Uh, this is for mid mid-sized companies to manage their personnel on their cloud applications. They were up 4%. And I like the way Octa has been gaining momentum uh, through 2023. Uh, they've been down significantly from 2022. Uh, but it looks like they're getting a lot of momentum 
And I think once tech comes back in late 2023, maybe going into 2024, we'll start to see prices above $100 per share. Okay? But on the day, they were up 4% for a gain of $46. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, ChargePoint today was up 4.79% for a gain of $43 in the portfolio. Okay, so a pretty decent day. It was a lot of green today. Made quite a bit of money on the portfolio, about $800. And let's see uh, what other opportunities. Remember, AMD uh, was one of the top performing stocks last week. Uh, looks like Amazon. Amazon shares were down today a little over 1%. I think I bought some when they were down about 1.12%, but I did purchase some Amazon. Okay. Also, Apple shares were down slightly. Uh, they did get, I believe, a downgrade from, from some analysts, but... They were down slightly, just 0.55%. And Nike, Nike shares are down 3.97%. Uh, again, Nike is a big retailing company, and they do a lot of business in China, and a lot of um, Chinese consumers love the athletic wear. Uh, but we don't know if China's economy is going to grow like it has in the past. Also, Visa, Visa shares were down today. Uh 0.87%. Uh, again, a lot of these, Nike, Visa, and, and actually Apple, all three of these do pay a dividend. Okay, so these have been uh, probably great opportunities to pick up today, Visa, Nike, and Apple. Also, I did pick up some Amazon shares. Okay, um, but I will like to say one comment. I don't know Amazon's play on the AI race. I know they do have a technology called bedrock but i'm not sure where they come in the picture uh but i am going to buy it as if the shares do dip okay so uh i think i'm up on amazon in my position about four four or five percent uh but i'd like to uh pick up some more shares uh but i'm not sure on their ai strategy okay so uh, those were some good opportunities today and again the top stock was Tesla, uh, ticker symbol TSLA, up 4.69%. And also, uh, ticker symbol ChargePoint, ChargePoint was up 4.79% for a gain of $43. So that was my top stocks. And just really quick look at the CNBC. Uh, okay, so the major Dow index is down. That includes like Coca-Cola and uh, DuPont. Uh, those Stocks, type of stocks were down today. Dow Jones index was down 0.42%. Uh, As we saw, some of the top S&P 500 companies, that includes Tesla, uh, they were up 0.02%. Also, NASDAQ shares, uh, more technology uh, shares were up today, 0.50%. So uh, that was the market for the day, uh, in, at least in my portfolio. Uh, I'm heavily leaning toward NASDAQ, so that's why my Robinhood and TD Ameritrade saw a nice little pop on the day. Okay. So I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like share and I hope to see you on the next video.